Hey guys, welcome back to the Second Time Lucky Mining Channel. In today's quick video, I'll show you guys how I am going to claim my Flux Ethereum and then swap it over making use of Fusion to native Flux. If you do like the Flux content, please smash the like button and maybe even consider subscribing to the channel. It will help me out a great deal. But enough of plugging my channel, let's get into the content. Now I'm super excited to do this video because I actually haven't claimed my Flux Ethereum parallel asset before and the big reason for that is the gas fees has just been way too high in the past and it didn't really make economical sense for me to go ahead and claim my Flux Ethereum but since the Ethereum merged the transactional volume on the Ethereum network together with the bear market is actually low and my Flux Ethereum parallel asset has accumulated so I actually feel comfortable now to go ahead and claim my Flux Ethereum parallel asset. Now before we jump onto the computer and actually claim our Flux Ethereum parallel asset, I wanted to answer a couple of questions. The first one being as to why, as I alluded to a little bit earlier, the big reason is the gas fees now, but the second biggest reason and probably the most important one is the Flux snapshot happening on the 31st of October. So I just want to make sure that I claim at least all my uh, flux parallel assets and the ethereum one being no exception so i just want to make sure that i have enough flux at the time specifically for the snapshot now you don't have to convert your flux ethereum into native flux in order to participate in the snapshot you just need to have it in your zelcore wallet in the parallel asset and that would also count as part of the snapshot the other thing as well is you potentially can use your flux ethereum parallel asset and stake it for liquidity or to make it work on some of the other decentralized applications but for me specifically in my situation i am going to convert it to native flux and again the reason why i want to do that is um, you know i just want to have all of my flux in native flux at the time of the snapshot and i want to stand up more nodes so that's specifically my reason but again you can do whatever you like um, that's just what i'm going to do now the second question that i wanted to answer is how much flux ethereum parallel assets do i have and can i claim and what is the fees associated to that and there's a couple of different ways how you can do that for me personally i make use of the flux node app to have a look at how much do i have and what would be the fees for claiming but you can also use other tools like the pa overview website or just going into zelcore and having a look for yourself now the last question that I wanted to answer pertains to GPU mining and I do get a lot of comments on my previous parallel asset videos specifically in this regard. So the long and short answer is yes you do earn parallel assets if you are GPU mining flux however typically what will happen is the pool that you are mining towards will actually go ahead and claim your parallel assets and then swap it over to native flux and pay you accordingly. So that is for most of the mining pools. Now, not every mining pool um, you know, necessarily does this, so just look at and reach out to your mining pool and they would give you clarity. But what I'm going to focus on is the parallel assets that I'm earning specifically from my nodes. And that's what the previous two websites that I've talked about would typically help you guide around how much do you have and what are the fees. Now enough talking about it, let's jump on the computer and I'll show you guys how I'm going to claim it and then convert it to native flux. Okay, so here we go on the computer. Now, before I actually go ahead and claim my Flux Ethereum parallel asset, I just want to make sure that I've got Ethereum within my wallet. Now, the reason why I want to have Ethereum on my wallet, again, I want to swap my Flux Ethereum parallel asset into native Flux. So I just need some Ethereum in my wallet in order to pay for the gas fees. Now, I haven't done this before, so I'm not exactly sure what the gas fees are going to be, but I do have a couple of dollars worth of Ethereum within my wallet. Now let's go ahead and claim the parallel asset. Now for that, I'm gonna go onto apps and then select fusion. And then what I'm going to do is here at the top, this three little dots, I'm gonna say parallel mining claim. So I'm gonna select that. It's going to ask me which parallel asset do I wanna claim. So what I'm going to do is hit the drop down and select Ethereum. And then it's going to ask me for my mining address. And specifically for me, I only have the one I'm just going to select that and that's now where you would see the claimable amount here. So what I do see here is I've got 184 but the gas fees are 10 flux. So it's quite high and that's specifically why I've waited up until this specific time. But 
I'm going ahead and selecting where do I want to claim it into. So I'm going to say Flux Ethereum token within my nodes wallet here. Specify preview. It will just show me the information. And again, the big thing that you need to look out for is the fees. The fees specifically for claiming this parallel asset is fairly high. So I'm just going to say claim parallel asset. And then there would be a transaction ID. Now, this is now where you just need to be a little bit patient and wait until you have it within your wallet. Now, I'm just going to close this message and you would see I would get a update here. I'm just going to go back and then back to my portfolio and into my wallet. And here you can see the actual Flux Ethereum token is now in my wallet. So I'm just going to select on that. And as you can see, there's no transactions, but it will now start as soon as the transaction goes through and there it popped right in. It will actually have the transaction there. So it's a little bit blurred out. So I'll see if I can get the screenshot in for you guys. And that's really how easy it is to claim the Flux Ethereum parallel asset. Now, the next thing that I want to do is actually convert it to native Flux. Now, specifically for that, what I'm going to do is now I'm going to select apps and then go back to Fusion. And within Fusion here, you can see I'm within my nodes wallet. So I'm going to select my Flux Ethereum asset here. And then I want to swap that into native Flux. And then specifically for me, I'm just going to hit the maximum button here. And as you can see here, what it's going to cost me is I'm going to swap 174. So that was the 10 Flux fees. And again, the, the Ethereum network was high gas fees at the time that I claimed, which is unfortunate. But as soon as I convert it over, I'm going to pay two gas fees in Flux to convert over. But very important here, you can see 0.00816 ETH. So that's why I checked initially just to make sure that I have Ethereum within my wallet because I know if I want to swap it over to native Flux, I'm going to have to pay some gas fees. Again, you can keep your Flux Ethereum within your wallet. Um, it will be eligible for the snapshot. And then on top of that, you can use that in some of the decentralized apps to provide liquidity if you want it. But specifically for me, I want to convert my Flux Ethereum into native Flux. So I'm going to select swap here. Are you sure? I'm going to say yes. And then you can see here, it's now broadcasting a transaction over on the Ethereum network. So you can see here, this is now where um, it's now going to take a little bit of time, but eventually Fusion will swap over my 174 into 172. So I just need to be a little bit patient, but eventually it will actually go ahead and go through. That's it for this video, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you did, please smash the like button and maybe consider subscribing to the channel. If you didn't, please specify in the comments what you would like me to change. Otherwise, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.